The National Water Commission is targeting eight inner-city communities in Portmore St. Catherine in a five-year anti-water theft project. It's expected to begin in March. Krista Campbell has the details. Non-revenue water, NRW, as the name suggests, is water the National Water Commission, NWC, distributes but does not collect money for, either because of leaks or theft. So the NWC, through European-based water efficiency company, MIA, is in Portmore St. Catherine to launch an NRW project to stop water wastage and the millions of dollars the NWC loses as a result. Mia Country Manager Alvaro Branco says over 60% of the water that goes to waste in the Sunshine City could be saved. He says it's an issue that has global significance because water is becoming less available. The sources are um, being um, sometimes contaminated. Uh, the cost of uh, energy is high. Uh, um, the um, rains are more uh, in a peak manner in um, in a shorter time, the reserves are even smaller. This happens all over the world. And these leads all too difficult to distribute water in an efficient and a good way. The NWC is currently doing an audit of the amount of water being produced in the eight targeted Portmore communities, how much is being used and how much goes to waste. Public education is also being done to help residents understand the cost of stealing water and to also help them become legitimate NWC customers. It is important for the NWC to engage them, to help them to understand that it really costs. It costs um, to pump the water, to treat it. Uh, it costs to deliver it to them, it costs to repair the pipes and to maintain the systems that are necessary. Installation of pipes and smart meters, which will see scheduled disruption of water supply, will then begin on March 3 until the end of the project in 2026. Uh, this work is geared at improving over the long term the regularity and reliability of your supply. So we're changing these pipelines, um, making sure the pressures are at a level that can sufficiently supply you without breaking the pipes. The meters help you to see your water flows. Uh, it has a, a facility that shows you how much water is flowing per hour through the meter. And so it's really putting the control in your hands as a customer to, to manage your water usage to conserve um, and this in tandem with what the bill shows um, in terms of a chart you can see graphically each month over 13 months on the top side of your bill what your consumption is is using and which way you are trending and so the meter is really helping you to manage your usages. Krista Campbell, TVJ News. And still on water, residents of Barrett Town in St. James are calling for the National Water Commission, NWC, to address a number of leaking pipes in that community. Citizens are concerned that the integrity of the roadway will be compromised with the continuous flow of water. The pipe had run nearly one month now, man. You see, it's inconvenient to traffic and, um, um, and pedestrian. You see, it? so they need to do something to add it. Councillor for the Rose Hall Division, where Barrett Town is located, Anthony Murray, is appealing to the NWC to address the leaks quickly. These leaks have been here for approximately two weeks, I could be more, based on my recollection. I have made several attempts to reach a water commission. I've gone here in person three times. I've made telephone calls. I've sent WhatsApp messages. I've sent videos. And, to, and they have made several promises to come and remedy these, these leaks and today to no success. So I'm appealing once more to the NWC, what they can do.